Today, we're gonna to talk about the benefits of solid bed mount opposed to using bed springs to mount your build plate. My name's Alex and you're watching Modified 3D. Solid bed spaces are nice to have because it makes it so that you no longer have to worry about your bed uh, moving because of the spring tension, maybe gets loosened or bumped or something like that because you essentially are creating a solid platform for your build plate to sit on. Now, that's gonna take away any adjustability we have in tramming the bed. So you're gonna make sure that you have a auto bed level uh, leveling system already installed before doing this. But if you do have something like the Easy ABL Pro that we have on this Ender 5, the TH3D bed spacers will work great. It's super easy to install. All we're gonna do is essentially replace these springs. We don't need any tools. All we do is just unscrew these knobs one at a time. And once those are off, we can lift the build plate off and swap these out for the sprints. So let's go ahead and do it. Now, once we have that off, we can just simply pull these up. And notice how I'm not taking the bed all the way off either. I'm just removing two at a time. And we will take our TH3D mounts, line them up, and place them down. Now once I get two of them in, move the springs out of the way, I'm just gonna go ahead and start this knob. I'm not tightening it down any because I still want room. I just want to make sure that these bolts don't pop back through and then give me trouble when I'm putting the back ones on. Now one thing to note is you can see how this mount looks a little different than this one and that's because this had previously a strain relief on it because this was made for the Ender 3. Um, I believe if you actually order the correct kit for the Ender 5, it's not gonna be like this. Um, but this has a strain relief on it for the bed wire. However, I have my own strain relief that I printed that I like, so I just simply snipped and cut off the TH3D uh, bed strain relief. It's gonna act the same exact way. The spacer's gonna be, you know, they're identical heights. It's just a different diameter. No different uh, on the install though. Um, anyways, throw these on. Once you have all the bolts guided into the carriage plate, we can just loosely tighten on the uh, nuts right now. Once we have these loosely on there, we can go ahead and tighten them down just a little past finger tight uh, so that they're snug and that they're not going nowhere. But you don't want to like rip them through. There's no need to snug them down too much. And that's it. That's how you install solid bed mounts on an Ender 5 from TH3D Studios. Now what this did is it took away any play that could have been in the bed. So this is now a solid mount onto our carriage. Um, if we do have any tramming issues, we are gonna have to compensate that with our auto bed leveling sensor. If you do not have an auto bed level sensor, this is gonna make your life a lot harder because you now have no bed uh, tramming options. What we can do is we can, if we have Octoprint, we can run a bed level visualization test and that'll show us if our carriage is skewed or bent anything. Um, and if it is too far off for our um, auto bed leveling system to compensate for, we can add spacers in with a, like a small washer underneath one of these, um, whatever corner needs to be raised or lowered. So you can get around having to tram it by adding washers, uh, but hopefully, and the goal is that you don't have to do that. Now what I will do is, because I do have Octoprint, I will run a bed visualization test and I'll show that in another video how to actually run that. Um, but I'll throw the results up here and uh, show you guys how it looks and how this carriage is. Honestly, I 
Don't know. I'm hoping it's going to be pretty flat though. Uh, we shall see. But that's how to install solid bed mounts on a Ender 5 Pro. If you're looking to see more uh, modifying 3D print printer videos, make sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up. Really appreciate that. It helps me grow the channel, get more content out to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.